So today what I was just showing Katie was the an Eagle View report, just a sample Eagle View, a roof dimension report that you can order and um, get the dimensions for the roof. So it's kind of a complex roof and I bring this one up because it was a very interesting case of um, supplementing that I actually closed last week. And uh, this is what they, it was USAA claim. USAA only paid, and actually I have um, a little clip of what the estimate from USAA looked like for the roof. They only paid 40.6 squares on this roof. When we got the Eagle View report back, it was 57 squares, okay? So a square is a 10 by 10 section of roofing materials, how roofing materials ordered. But basically, it's 5,700 square feet in actuality, but USAA only paid 4,060 square feet or 40.6 squares. So this is a really good case study. I thought I'd bring this up. So supplementing tip number one, if you're going to be, you know, with the roofing, and supplementing roofs, you're going to want to always order an Eagle View and verify the measurements. Now, there are some companies, insurance companies, that will say, you know, Roof Insight is a better example than the Eagle View. We like to use a different company than Eagle View, and that's fine, but at least get some kind of roof report, whether it be Eagle View or Roof Insight, and there's some other ones, um, to show the carrier, hey, you guys are way off on your squares. And it may prompt a reinspect, which is fine. We don't mind reinspect. But at least you're, it's on the table to be talked about, and I, I find it so beneficial to always, you know, submit the Eagle View with your supplement estimate. The other thing I want to bring up about the Eagle View is it gives you your pitches. So this is another one, same roof, okay? Another issue with the same roof, same claim. They only paid for a steep pitch charge, okay? So we'll take a look at that um, estimate again. They only paid for 712 on part of the roof and then the 1012 to 1212. So the more steep we get, the more expensive it is to get the guys hooked up to the harnesses and more OSHA regulations and more exponentially uh, expensive, the steeper the roof gets. So I uh, also use this Eagle View report to show, as you can see, all of these numbers on these different slopes are all your different pitches for the uh, different parts of the roof. And obviously there's no sevens here, right? There is no seven, 12 pitches. We've got 10, 12, and we've got 12, 12, but no seven, 12 here. So I was able to ship this off to them, get that paid as well. And then whenever you have steep, steep pitches like that, you should get a double layer of felt underneath. So that also came into play here. And that's how I was able to get the extra money added to this claim. Just by showing them the Eagle view, I got several line items added. So I had them credit back the 712 and the whole roof, all 57 squares, should have been the 1012 to 1212 charge. So just, just a couple little insights there on how I use that one Eagle view um, to get a lot of items paid and, and there's quite a, a nice increase for us uh, on that, that claim there.